Good morning, guys. So this is what we're gonna be dealing with today, I think. I'm pretty excited. We're in Roswell, New Mexico, if you have no idea yet. Marley's over here looking for aliens already. This is called the Red Barn RV Resort in Roswell, New Mexico. Lee and Randy, if you ever come, go find them. They're the nicest people in the world. Like honestly, they're the coolest people. If you ever need an RV park here in Roswell, I highly recommend it. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of this, these like travel videos. Anything that I find that's recommendable so you guys can go rent your own RV, I will promise to let you know. Right now, just hooking up and getting some water. So if you wanna do some dry camping, we can do that. Little by little, I'm actually learning some stuff here. Hard as I thought it would be. I really honestly thought it'd be really hard. I also dumped our piss water. <laughs> Everyone wants to know about that. Not pooping on the RV. I got the no poop on the bus thing ingrained in my head. Plus, I, the way I had to do that, I'm not gonna run like that. Ugh. I'm not gonna move my wife's poop down the tube. We're in Roswell, New Mexico! Ah! And we, we survived the night. No aliens got us, actually. Got me, but they gave me, they gave me back. Yeah. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the end of yesterday's video. Yeah, yeah. They returned me this morning. I have to tell you. My butt hurts though. So we're on 2nd Street. If we go over the train tracks, that's where all the alien stuff is. All right there. The museum, invasion, everything. Roswell Landing, that's all I want to go see. All that stuff. Jesus, this is a strange shot. You know there's only 48,000 people that live here? That's crazy. I asked her, I was like, how many people live here? She's like, 48. I'm like, um. I was like, so there's only 46 other than you and your husband? She's like, no, 1,000. I'm like, you gotta say 1,000. Otherwise, somebody like me thinks there's only 48 people in Roswell, New Mexico. <laughs> it's nice, though, that it's kind of barren. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Spaceships everywhere. I'm glad we kind of did this little stop. We weren't going to do it, but last minute always is fun. Should have brought sunglasses, though. Oh, you like these? Yeah. Walking in the desert, no sunglasses, no big deal. Tell her I'm kind of like in total mom mode. Look, I got my keys, water bowl, water, got my backpack, it's got an extra camera in. You got holes in your pants already? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, okay, got it. You got a little vomit on there? Alien pods. What are these things? And then there's little seeds inside. Yes, yeah, seeds of aliens. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be pretty annoying with all the alien stuff, but I like space. I know you don't sit yourself on the, the pods. I forget how tall I am sometimes. How do I run into like the doorway? <laughs> right? I ran back and got my sunglasses because it was too ridiculous. Too hot. Who thought, you know, the desert was going to be hot? Girls, be careful. There's an alien. <laughs> so. <laughs> Some of them look really funny. Like this one? Yeah. Some have five fingers and no feet. Some will have two fingers and five toes on each foot. It's been since 1947, so 1947, 19, or 2017, 70 years, 70th anniversary. Since the space shuttle crash. The coolest thing I think around this place is that everything is so dog friendly. Every store I've gone into has just let the dogs come in and chill. And Diesel is like the embarrassing one. He like rolls all over the place. He's like literally, we turn around, he's rolling on his back. Almost knocking down coffee mugs. That was good. I go, I think this is Sandra's place. And he goes, who? I go, Sandra. And he's like, what? I go, Sandra Bullock? And he's like, huh? It's because it's called Bullock. Get it? I'm so clever. Good. I'm good. I'm glad we're doing this though, because this is like not a thing that I would fly all the way out to Roswell just to see. I mean, there, I, I know there's got to be some other things to see other than just Main Street, but. Every place? Every window has alien stuff. It's a spaceship. One of the ladies said to go check out this McDonald's. So I was like, oh, we have McDonald's. 
She's like, no, just go check it out. Spaceship McDonald's. I'm kind of blown away. And look, there's aliens down on the ground too. I was asking the lady like where we should go to like see something. And she's like, yeah, if you go down this road, uh, I think it was like the main street, if you go down and uh, you look on the side of the road, there's like this big old spaceship with these aliens and people offering pie and stuff. Go to the left. And the funny thing is, uh, we, we almost missed it. All it is is this. I mean, it's still pretty cool, but at the same time, I was really expecting something else. The guy's giving the alien a jump. The lady's offering a pie. <laughs> terrified. And the alien is holding an E.T. doll. That's funny. Did you see what the baby alien was holding? E.T. It's my favorite. RV looks sick back there. Yeah, this is not supposed to be happening, guys. <laughs> Marley, you're being so good. Thank you. Today was the first day that we started our little special project that we're going to release at the end of this trip. Don't want to give it away too much, but we just shot the first one right here. You'll see at the end of this trip. We had to come and stop at this thing just because it's so random. I think he's pointing to the other guy over there. It's pretty dumb, but still, you have to go to it, right? Oh, sorry, Mar. <laughs> I was just going to say, several days in, we're starting to get the hang of everything. First couple days, we would just drive, and even if it got really hot, because it gets really hot back here, because the air conditioning doesn't run when the car, the gener like the air conditioning doesn't run when the car is running, so we're just driving straight through just to get through everywhere, so we can get to the, the west coast where we're at now. But now we're getting a little smarter, so rather than getting gas and just bolting, we're like getting gas, we're turning on the generator, turning the air conditioning on, and letting the dogs go to the bathroom and kind of chilling for a little bit. So that way the whole RV gets kind of cold when we start driving, otherwise, the poor dogs get so hot. High five though, becoming RVers. Our RV that was not a high five. That's what RVers do. High five. Good God. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hawaii all over again. If you didn't know, Allie is a nature buff to the extreme. Freaking loves nature. Come on, go to that was like insane. Oh, by the way, we're not being procrastinators. So tonight, right now, we're heading to the Rio Grande National Forest. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And then the, we're staying there a couple days so we can do some cool stuff like hiking finally. And then the next day, we're gonna go to the Great Sand Dunes. And rather than being procrastinators, we actually are actually scheduled in. So we're doing good. We might do the, the Glacier National Forest or Zion or Grand Canyon. I have no idea, but now that we're over here on the side of the country, it's kind of nice because now we're able to drive less and less and see more and more things. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. <laughs> it's been fun. A lot of driving. She's been driving most of the time though. I drive for an hour and then she's like, okay, my turn. Do you guys remember in Hawaii where her whole camera roll was just the same mountain, just five feet apart? <laughs> this is like the same so thing. What's a Jeep Brigade? Hey, oh, I love all of them. Woo, I wish I was right. I can't knock because I'm not driving in a Jeep. You can't do that. Can't throw the peace sign. The weather is totally different. It's actually kind of chilly, and we just stopped to let the dogs go to the bathroom. Come here, watch your butt, watch your legs. I have right? Yeah, it's actually cold out. It's beautiful. No, I it's so beautiful. <laughs> I am loving this RV trip. I am loving this RV trip. I love this RV. Lazy days. I can't say it enough. I just love you guys. This is the best. Honestly, one of the best trips I've ever had in my entire life so far, and we are just starting. But guys, look at this view. Like, this is insane. We have seen every type of terrain, every type of backdrop, and I just, so far, 
Oh, Tara's been making fun of me because I get teary eyed, but this is just unbelievable. Is that you? Yes. Ah! <laughs> I love it. We're going into the forest. Um, I haven't seen life in probably an hour and a half. No, no, we saw one random person well, doing that's what something. I was just about to say, <laughs> is that there's nothing out here and it's, a, it's really beautiful. And we're driving down the road and I'm like, what is that? And there's a person kind of standing out at the front of their gate and he just goes. <laughs> and it was nice, I waved back too, but it like, it was so, I don't know. Well, look at the road. There's nobody in front of us. No there's lights. nobody behind us. Yeah. It's like they were thinking, oh, there's only one person going down the road tonight. I might as well wave. All right, guys, we are in the Rio Grande National Forest. We just got to our spot, and we have our trusted alien protecting the car or the RV. And my question to you guys today is, what do we name him? He is going to be on our trip the whole time. Oop, don't, oh, 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 there. Oh, no. He's coming with us the entire trip, so we need to have a name, a proper name for him. Remember when thumbed up will be his name. All right, guys, well, we are here. It was an awesome day. I got to go to Roswell, or we got to go to Roswell. We got to see a bunch of alien stuff. Roswell. Yeah, so cool. And it, and so, the I get to go to see the aliens. <laughs> I, hate her. I hate my wife. I hate. I went to Roswell, and when I went to Roswell, I saw the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> because you went to Roswell to see the aliens. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Go to Roswell to see the aliens. <laughs> She's losing her mind all this driving. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys on the road for the next... Wait, what are you staring at? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Have a good night. And don't forget to go to Roswell to see the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the next two and a half, almost still three weeks of this this RV adventure. We hope you really enjoyed the vlog. If you're brand new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> right, see you guys.